Grievous is going to move for one. And then we're going to move to engage. Greetings and welcome to Halfling 13 Gaming. This is our fourth battle report since the new edition of Rules, and we're still adapting to the changes. William was looking for a training match with lots of hints and discussion, and by his own choice, opted to face off against what is becoming George's dominating Separatist force. We continue to learn the new changes to the rules, though I'm sure there are a few we missed or misinterpreted. Leave us a comment to call out any errors or suggestions to help everyone learn the new mechanics. Based on our recent open discussion, we're introducing a house rule of turning the tide. Normally the game ends at 12 points for one side. If this happens, and there's a clear path to come back by the losing side, then we disregard the 12 point limit and play to five turns with final totals determining victory. If there's no willingness or no clear path, then we end normal. Obviously, officially, the first to 12 wins regardless, but for our purposes, there have been a couple of games that could have turned without the maximum point limit. This battle is a switch back to our forest map, since Ben was unable to locate the desert field. As usual, gray objects and rocks provide heavy cover, with a few scattered pieces of light cover. Several buildings break up the line of sight in the center, with some hills and trees on the ends. For the Separatists, George is fielding a pair of generals, with Super Tactical Droid Kraken and General Dr Grievous. The army composition is fairly straightforward, with four units each of B-1 Battle Droids and IG-100 Magna Guard, with Royal Guard standing in his proxy and three units of Droidectus. The army list comes in at an even 1,000 points with 13 activations. William is bringing his Shadow Collective with Ball and Garf Saxon leading the charge. He's gone hero heavy with the addition of two bounty hunters, Bosk and Cad Bane. Two units of Black Sun Enforcers provides for some, he some basic foot soldiers, while three units of Mandalorian Super Commandos provide mobility and heavy armor. Shadow Collective has 1,000 points and a very slim nine activations. As always, welcome our viewers, both past and present. All 3D models used are available either on Thingiverse or from various companies. Please check the description for details. The game dashboard is a custom design available from our Etsy shop, both pre-cut and ready for assembly, or as digital plans for you to cut out yourself. If you enjoy this content, drop a like on this video to help grow the audience, and subscribe to the channel to be notified for future releases. Consider supporting us directly by joining our channel on the YouTube join icon, located next to the, to the subscribe, or consider our Patreon option. Membership also provides access to all digital design files I release for our various activities. Leave us a comment to let us know what you did or did not like about this battle or the video format. We're eager to engage with the audience and improve the channel. Your support and feedback is appreciated and helps us continue creating content. New videos are typically posted on Friday. So I ordered um, all the B1s and one of the guards, and then I ordered Grievous, and then I ordered Mandalorian. I ordered Maul, and I ordered this squad of Mandalorians. I'm going to perform the pass action. I'm going to pass. I'm going to activate Cad Bane. Well, I drew Cad Bane. Cad Bane is just going to climb up here. So, just on the edge. Okay. And then take a dodge. Okay, so I got a B1 squad. Um, I'm going to deploy the B1 there. And then I'm going to move yet again. Let's move the B1 right there. I drew Gar Saxon. Gar Saxon is going to use Scout 1 to deploy here. And he's going to jump up here. And take a dodge. So I got a B1 squad right here. Um, it's going to go here. And then go right over to here. I'm going to take a pass. I got a B1. Um, it's going to deploy here. And then it's going to do, uh, it's going to hide under that cliff. I drew a core unit. So one of my black sun is just going to make, perform two move actions. Okay, so I got another B1. Um, this B1 is going to come over here. And then just right over here. Perform a pass action. Okay, so we got Kraken. Um, he's going to deploy here. 
Then he's going to run over here. And back up range, and then he's going to strategize himself. The score unit's going to activate. They're going to step forward off the map. And then wait by taking a dodge. Okay, so we got some Magna Guard. Um, not going to deploy here. And then they will go ahead and go over here. I'm going to activate the squad of Gunslingers. Gunslingers are going, going to move here, then jump up into the pool. So I got some droid decos. Um, they are going to deploy here. And then they are going to shoot at some Mandalorians. So crit and two hits. And so you, what you'd be doing is yep. you roll two white cover. Nothing. Um, then two shields. Okay. And one save. Oh, yeah, infinite shield. That was the first shield we rolled. Um, okay. Did you say two saved? Once, um, you took away two, yeah. so you roll one save. There you go. So two suppression. Yep. I burned the shields. Doesn't get those back. Yep. Boss going to activate. Boss going to perform two moves. To get right up here. And right here. Okay, so I got the Royal Magna Guard. Uh, one's going to go. It's going to go. Um, go like there. Because they are unhindered. And then the other one, and then it's going to go. Right there. I'm going to activate this squad of special forces. Mandalorians. They are going to. Move up to here. I'll deal with that in a moment. Sure. Then they are going to uh, take a dodge. Okay. So I got some droid decas. Um, these droid decas are going to deploy right here. And I don't think I'm in range of attack. Yeah. Nope. So I will um, take a dodge with him. Ball is going to deploy here using infiltrate. Then he's going to jump up top here and perform a standby action. Okay, so we've got some Royal Guard. I'm going to place that dude there. And then, oh, hold on a second. Got to use the rules. Deploy them like that. And then we're going to go like that. Activating the squad of Ben Lorings, the last squad, they are going to jump here, or move here, not jump, then jump up top because it's really the only place I should be able to move to get right now. And get the backup. Okay, so I got some Grievous. Um, Grievous is going to go here with the scout. Here with his first move. Here with a second move. And then because he has Relentless, he's going to shoot Bosk. Poor Bosk. Um, so one critical, and then it's pierced. So one point. 
Unless you have impervious. Nope. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, get to use his regenerate ability. First blood. Okay. I will go into some ball mode. Uh, I'm gonna ball mode here for the deployment. And then with the new vehicle rules, I get a free pivot. And I got some Magna Guard, um, who are going to follow, follow his buddy Grievous. Um, that's there. Second one right there. So this one um, is going to reinforce Grievous. Um, this one's also going to start to reinforce Grievous. And um, this one is going to go this way. I got, I got Grievous. Um, Grievous is going to move for one. And then we're going to move to engage. Oh, right here. Not worried about being fancy. Right there. And then we are going to attack Bosk. And then AoE. Oh, no. Um, so we're looking at five. Pierce two. So five. Ow. How many do you have? Um, seven. So, so one HP. One HP. Then the and AOE. And then the burst. Yes. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and start with now, that. Now, does backup count for... No, nope, because not, it's, it's shorter sure than range two. Yeah. Uh, poor boss. <laughs> boss is just getting bullied. All right. Uh, we'll start with Bosk. You can do it, boss. Three? No. No, he can't. No Pierce. Nope. He's gone. Well, and I... I'm not going to call it now, but that hurts a lot. And then the Black Sun right next to him. Um, I'm going to spend a Surge to get it, make it to... Would Blask have had a uh, suppression token? Doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. It's melee anyway. So you take one. Yep. And then they take two suppression. Was he in the deployment zone? A oh, friendly he zone? Was. Friendly zone? He was. He had deployed right on the line. Okay. So I'm going to claim the two. I drew Gar Saxon. Gar Saxon is going to move, activate offensive push to gain the uh, dodge. Aim. Or the aim, not the dodge. Then use long shot to fire at uh, Grievous. Okay. One. Yep. Does it have Pierce? Uh, nope. Need lethal to get Pierce. I blocked it. Oh, well, he's surprised. Correct. So I got these B1s. Um, they are going to move forward slightly, so they start claiming that point. And they're going to shoot some uh, Mandalorians. Which ones? Uh, those ones. So, seven crits. <laughs> <laughs> I quit if that happens. Um, we have a hidden crit. So you roll one white save for cover. Nope. So you roll two red saves. I quit. <laughs> oh. 
so you lose two Mandalorians. Yep. Yep. Ow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't like fielding Mandalorians. <laughs> Just in... It hurts so badly. I'm going to activate Maul. Maul is going to jump down here. Prefer not to break Maul's lightsabers. Then he's going to jump around the corner. Into the big ones. Yeah. Can I assume I'm in? Yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah, no. Okay. And, and it's me. Well, oh, you got 50. 50%. 50 okay, yeah. Yeah, I suppose I did. And I'd prefer not to kill a squad. And get shot. So four pierced two. Made one, so it's still pierced, so I'd lose four. Now, you can't remove the ones he's physically next to, right? You can remove any model you want, well, the rest go here. Yes. So but, but, um, but you don't, I still have to be cohered with them. Okay. So, um, so we got some blue Magna Guards. Um, we are going to punch some Black Sun with a double move. Go right here. Another one. Gauging this one. And we're punching them. Um, uh, no. So, five. Three dice. Uh, uh, nope. One. <laughs> no, this one's gone. Ah, <laughs> uh, red dice. Did, did you paint these dice? Mm -hmm. Yep, we totally painted them. So, four dice? Yeah. All of them dead. Yeah. Taking a pass. So the ones engaged are going to take a withdraw action. Over here. And then they're going to take a dodge. Activate this squad. They are going to take a short move up to get into the terrain and then take a dodge. Okay, so we got Kraken. Um, I'm going to strategize him, and then he's going to shoot Maul. And three hits. Yeah, cover first. From what? The objective. Okay, I have sharpshooter one. So you have light cover, so roll three dice. Yes. Take the red dice back out. Yep. I didn't realize he had cover. Apologies. Surges or any hits me? No. Nope. Okay. So then your three saves that you rolled apply. You got two hits and failed one. Yep. Okay. Using pass. So we got them. Um, them actually being the subject AI um, is going to move. So I'm going to go like this to go right here. In that, and then I'm gonna shoot Gar Saxon because that's the only one I'm in range. Oh, that's wow, that was a lot. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, that's a lot of crits. So, good news is you will be able to use your backup. Yep. Um, so, you technically roll two for the two for the cover, but yep. your backup's gonna cancel it anyway, so you don't really have to roll for cover. That was good. Backup cancels cover. No, you, you get you uh, backup cancels two hits, so two hits are gone. At which point you have no hits remaining. Got it. Cover, cover applies. Okay. Yeah. So shield. two hits go away. Yeah. You, have a, you yeah. have a shield. Yep. Shield takes one. Okay. You have four. Okay. Three HP from dark um, stack. Okay. I drew the remaining core unit that died, so I'm going to take the free pass. Okay. Okay, so I got droid echoes. Um, they're going to activate. Um, this one's a unit later. So this one's going to go over to here. And then we're going to shoot at some Mandalorians some more. 
Uh, the ones in the crater. Oh, um, I don't search the hit. So four, and then you roll for three for cover. Go. Yeah. Block one. The lock one. Cover is actually helpful. And then two for armor. You don't need to put them away each time. Three for armor. I know. Three? Yeah. No. That's three hit there. There you go. You blocked all of them. No, I don't think that's heard. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> this is the continuous. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Just the continuous issue. And so two more suppression. Commandos, that's their strength, is heavy armor. And take the pass action. Okay, so with the B1s, instead of aiming, I'm going to just move right there. Um, and then shoot at Ball, who has no cover now. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, cover wouldn't have mattered, so two crits. Okay. I'm not going to spend the thing. Run save. So one wound. Activate Cad Bane. Cad Bane is just going to perform two move actions, one of which is going to be a jump. Okay. Does he have steady? Yes. Cad Bane is steady. Take a shot. That I don't know. Yeah. Yep. Hmm? So he's going to fire at the Fruit Echoes. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. Yep. Should I assume shield? Yep, three shields. Uh, these droidekas are going to wander over here. And we're going to shoot at some Mandalorians in the crater. Um, so you're looking at only three. Actually, yeah. Hits. A little lot of surges. Yeah, hits, so. Recover, save. Recover. Look at that, you passed all three. There you go. Crater out. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you get two suppression? Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. I'm activating this Mando Super Commando Squad. First. Nope. <laughs> they get two off. Two off. Which means they're still panicked. They're still panicked. So then you lose another two. And now then... They're, and now they're not panicked. Yeah, now they're not panicked, so they still contest. Okay. That's better than I thought. B1 squad, um, the unit leader is just going to simply move right over to here. And then we're going to shoot some, uh, some maul. Um, just a crit. Yeah. Yep. One more expression. I'm gonna activate this Man Warring Squad. Man Warring Squad is going to jump down. Then jump into the crater. Yeah. You're good. These Magna Guards are gonna go. Um, they are going to double move into uh, Maul. And then I'm going to go ahead and put um, what's his face's aim on there because of the exemplar. I will be most likely using it. Really? Um, so. It's actually a good sign. Um, and then aim. Four in total. Two saves, I think. Um, no, he's dead. One saves, three H six HP overall. He's taking three damage. There goes Maul. Okay. So.
That's yeah, really unfortunate. Activating my final squad of Mandalorians. Mandalorians are going to jump. To get in range. Where's Magna Carta going to go? There. Here and then shoot their blasters at those Mandalorians. Um, so two crits and a hit. So one for the cover. Here. And, uh, let's get here. And then let's get here. Okay, so with Roger Roger, I ordered the three droid decas, and I got my free entourage order. Okay. I ordered Gar Saxon using the new horse. Okay, so I'm going to go with these droid decas. Um, they're going to simply just take a name and then shoot at these uh, Mandalorians. System. Oh, uh, balls. So I do have a name. Ow. Oh, decent. And one more. I, can I have a red dice? Oh, uh, yeah. Cover? No, uh, cover? no cover. All but one. All but one alive. Yeah. So. He's going to activate. He's going to form a uh, aim and then a move. Then use steady to fire and try to kill off that squad. Okay. Well, you do have a name. I have a name. Yeah, so. uh, no. Nope. Okay. Oh, the dice are failing you. So I got. They were never. No they were. Like they never succeeded set. to begin with. Yeah. A building. No cover. It's a critical. Oh yeah, that works. And do you have Pierce? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, there goes that, that idea. That, that was a valiant attempt. <laughs> All right. Uh, these guys are going to go. Um, they are going to move off. To go. Here. And they're going to shoot the Mandalorians. Guard. It's only four. <laughs> Five. You get heavy cover. Four, how many? Uh, four of them. Two saved. Okay. Don't, don't waste the time to put them away. Just go pull them right back out. Saved. Yep, two saved. Okay. So, take one. one. So, shield. 
I should have done that to begin with. So, no. so go ahead and just roll two, two red saves then. Okay. Okay, so you still lost one. Yeah. Activating this core unit. Hopefully, hopefully the special forces unit. Get a lot of suppression. Got one. Yep, so it's not panicked or suppressed. So it is going to jump forward and try to punch a B1 door. Yeah. Gonna re-roll that. So one. I I lose a model. Yay. I've killed six B ones. Okay, I'm just gonna go with them. I am going to go into ball mode. Go here. And then go up to here. Go over to that further, so I'm in point range. Special Force is going to aim and then fire at that squad. Nope. So they're not going to aim. They're just going to fire at the squad. Okay. Which is also, uh, well, it's not bad. So, Four. Yep. Uh, cover? Mm, nope. It would only apply from the building. The building's not in the way. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... Okay. Mountain's gone. Yeah, mountain does not apply. Yeah. <laughs> it's as if it's not even there. So I'm gonna make three. Made Who one. could have seen? Oh, I made mm -hmm. one, and then. Oh, it doesn't matter. You yeah. You already found yeah. the other two. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure, All right. You want to be more the most restrictive each time. Was there a blue token for me? This core is going to go ahead and aim, and then punch the Mandalorian. I'll override, and then aim and punch. So I've got two so far. I'll aim, me still. Or just two, in total. Ah, they got him. Score a point? Uh, yeah, I'm going to score a point. Uh, you were at six. I got two and then four, four, so I should be at seven. seven. Yeah. Rick R. Saxon. He's going to step forward. Then shoot his basic pistol at the Droidekas. It's about to roll of suppression. Okay. Okay. One bruises. I'll dodge and two shield. Okay. So the dodge and two shields are done. Oh, Which you had to do to him anyway. Yeah. These guys are going to go. Go. One over to here. Black ones are going to activate, they're going to step forward, and in the hopes that they can kill a droid Eka, they're going to fire. Are they even within range? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, they're going to fire. <laughs> Do they surge? No. 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 Yeah. Aim token? Okay. Roomy, I guess. Okay. They have no upgrades. So. Three dice. We rolled. Okay. Two hits. Not enough to kill a droid echo. I take two. And that's the end of my turn.
Okay. Oh, again. Yep. At the end of turn three, the Shadow Collective is on the run. The Separatists have all but cleared the field and have a commanding position for scoring. And this is a case where we see no option for a comeback by the mercenaries, with the Separatists easily scoring the 12 point limit next round. I think the tactics and choices were fairly solid this time, but the force was definitely on the side of the droids with the attack and, defen and defense dice. My appreciation to William for sticking it out for three turns, despite the obvious pain. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you made it this far, please consider a like on the video or subscribe to be notified for future content. Leave a comment for the players to ask why an option was or was not taken, and join the discussion with any advice and tactics for either force to make it more viable in the game.